Saturday night, Grant's tomb was reopened. The Bulldogs' most successful coach was introduced along with his most successful team. A team that took the city on an unforgettable journey. One that began with a loss. We played really well against uh, Nevada of Las Vegas. We had a very big chance to win that game. The dogs were not destined to dance that year, but they weren't ready to stop playing. So they accepted a bid to the NIT. But I thought we were playing very well at that time, and nobody could really beat us in the NCAAs or the NIT. We knew that we had a great team, but everybody else didn't know that. The dogs beat UTEP at home, then Michigan State on the road. Only Oregon State stood between the Red Wave and the Big Apple. We read some pamphlets when we were in the hotel about Oregon State. They already were packed and ready to go. They had their tickets and everything all set for the hotel. And after the game, we ran up to the crowd and said, oh, y'all still got your tickets? Yep, we might need them now. Fresno State had done it. They were center stage in New York City. On the 30th of March, the dogs squared off against DePaul for the NIT title. Bernard Thompson, yes, here's Thompson, and the foul, the Bulldogs of Fresno State. And I was standing up on the rim taking the nets down, and you know, I started thinking about Ali fought in here. I said, man, I'm breathing some of the air, and which one of the greatest men of all time. You know, when you win there, it seems like you get so much recognition. But that was nothing like the reception that awaited back in Fresno. A crowd on both sides of the street from the airport all the way back to Fresno State. Unbelievable. It was really, really a special moment for us. It's one I will never forget. It was the biggest moment in my coaching career. 25 years later, the Red Wave opened their arms to their old heroes once again. A group of men who are now businessmen, teachers, counselors, coaches. But the team and the men who will always be champions. Ralph Gaston, KC24 Sports Central.